is a fairly decent version of the two needle valve model that it's the one piece model the top didn't come off of it that small small plate in the back it did then this one does have the taper pin that goes in this and it's it was when this is new that's just freestanding with a spring to hold it in there I did I have done a little work on it made the needle valves the uh, and what I will do, but the easiest way to get that out, if I can find it, is this one has the handle on, still on it. It's run, drain, start. That The handle would have been on this one. You will quite often find these that that is just stuck you well you think you're going to have to disband the carburetor to the point of drilling a uh, drilling a hole in the bottom of it here direct in the center of that taper pin taper shaft right in the direct center this is the way it looks that's the way that 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 that's the way that that looks it's got a hole in it and the way it works it's got a hole in the side here and a hole in the bottom comes up there to make to match that up and there's a hole in the bottom of that when you look down in that hole there's a hole down in there when you put this in there turn it in right here that hole lines up and the mixer will drain back to the fuel tank when you put it around here where the light run lines up that's the run position uh, meaning kerosene when you put it around in this area that's the start position meaning that you're drawing fuel from the gasoline reservoir on this side this is a this is a really good mixer the way it works the uh, the the way you remove these is in the bottom of the mixer which has been done to this one quite successfully I may add is you drill a hole right in the center of the bottom of this outlet that casting with the with the letter with the correct drill size to tap that one eighth inch pipe thread you drill that put a punch in here and knock that out most of the time it takes a very light blow with a hammer and this will come right out after you have tried to get it out for some time once you have got it out got it all cleaned up and got it working and if you can see right down in there see in that hole right there y'all see where that y'all see where that hole is lined up with that one yeah when it works when you turn this then that hole lines up somewhere else once you have that repair made then you put a plug in the bottom of this and and this is the perfect place to use the gasola and you know a good many I don't own any stock in this company right here but a good many uh, comments has been left as to what kind of gasola what kind of sealer do I use and to 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 verify that and I'm not going to read this whole thing on here but this is a the, this is the perfect thread sealer it's gasola thread sealer soft set with p t f e uh, you can do the you can do the homework it's blue color and it's part number s s zero eight gasola uh, and then that's not to say that this is the only gasola product I use I'm not going to drag them all out here just take my word for it 
uh, it's it will be to your advantage when you down at the store that's got this to lay in one each of all the different kinds they have because they do have different uses. There is there is places on these engines, and this is kind of generic. I mean, I'm talking about international M's here now, but these these engines basically are referred to as hit and miss engines. These happen to be a throttle governed engines, and they're kind of generic in the term hit and miss. The uh, and this this is this is to be used where gasoline is present. Uh, there is only one place on on a McCormick Deer and M that I recommend and use silicone, and we will get to that when when we get around to it. Uh, on the Bailey War engine, I'm I'm going to I'm going to use some. Uh, when I put the cylinder in the engine, that's the only place uh, because that is in a water uh, is sealing up a water, and and the cylinder expands and contracts and even with the o-ring the factory recommended just a light grease coating but i like to put a silicone in there it's you know it's kind of the same thing as wearing suspenders with your belt you know anyways back to this uh, i will drill and tap this i'm not going to do a video of it just take my word on the explanation that it does work and it's what i do i'll get this out make a new handle and rebuild this mixer the uh, let's just get all over the board today the siphon it's related at least the siphon in these uh, mixers the, the factory original one look like this it's a pop metal real cheap grade uh, um, little casting deal and they they do have a gasket copper that goes on this area here it's that's there would be a gasket it would be the siphon the um, this would be on the back part to hold it in the needle valve would go in here and a spring and this I did make this mid needle valve looks like a long time ago but that's the way the siphon looks uh, we may uh, we may talk about this a little later oh yes this uh, this mixer here does it does have the old style if you can see them the IHC logo with the metal, the iron type needle valve heads. It's an IHC logo. Th these these are really the old model, old model. Okay, let's get on to them seats. We've got quite a few of them to do, and I am going to do. I'm going to do this one here, and, and it's the same procedure. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not going to do every one. I'm only going to do one over there on the milling machine to, as an example, but. To explain this one, you would set it on a angle plate on the table and indicate the top of this right here true. This area right here, run your dial indicator around there. Indicate that true and level. Now, let's get on over yonder to the, uh, let's get over there to the milling machine and get this done.